What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a bit of an update on my next seven game reviews, as well as what to expect in the months ahead for the channel. So for my newer subscribers, every couple of months I'll usually release a video like this, just kind of talking about what I have planned for reviews, as well as any other projects coming up. This year in particular, almost everything I wanted to play with a set release date happened in the first three months of the year. The only two games past March, actually, that had a set release date that I wanted to look into are Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song and Starfield. Now, there's some other games that are supposed to be releasing in 2022 that I want to check out, but they don't have release dates and thus are kind of hard to plan for. But with no further ado, let's actually jump into this and talk plans. Now, first up on our list, I'm going to finish up Ghostwire Tokyo and get that review out. Chances are you'll actually see that video tomorrow. I'm almost done with the game itself, and then I just have to do the editing and everything. So if you don't see it tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday instead. And then from there, I'm going to try to squeeze in a small indie title in between finishing Ghostwire Tokyo and the release of Weird West on the 31st. I'm going to try to review Wigmund, The Return of the Hidden Knights, in between those two titles, because Wigmund releases today, actually, and it is a fairly short indie title. It's like 15 hours, I believe, in total. So not a super long game, but pretty cheap, and I've been keeping an eye on it as I've been pretty interested in it myself, so I'm hoping to knock that one out in a couple days before the release of Weird West on the 31st. Then, of course, I'll be reviewing Weird West. Very excited for that title. Looks like it is right up my alley. Everything I've seen about it looks very promising. It's a sort of immersive sim CRPG style game. And really, I just can't wait to dive in and try it out. Now, once I finish Weird West, not exactly sure how long that's going to take. Ballparking at 40 to 50 hours, that's usually around what you can expect for those smaller titles. But once I'm finished with Weird West, I'm going to be moving on to Atom RPG True to Grad which is actually a standalone expansion for Atom RPG, which I just recently reviewed. My original plan was just to tie the standalone expansion in with the base game and do it all in one video. However, as you might be noticing, my schedule is a bit packed, so I decided to separate it out. And when I finish Weird West, I will be moving on to True to Grad. From there, the schedule gets a bit iffy. I'm not exactly sure when I'll get to these next three or in what order. It really just kind of depends on the timing of everything. As past this, it's pretty much just titles I've already committed to reviewing, but they've already released, so there's no real hurry for the most part. Outside of one of them with a release date of April 14th or 15th, I don't remember off the top of my head, but that is Celasta's new DLC that is coming, The Lost Valley. Celasta being a very tactical CRPG around D&D's 5e combat. They are releasing a new campaign in the form of DLC, and they'll be adding multiplayer to the title as well. So I'll be jumping into that to give everybody a update. I've actually already reviewed the base game, but I want to check out the DLC, get that done. And then it is the last two CRPGs that I've already committed to reviewing next, and that is Empire of Sin and Temple of Elemental Evil. Now, Temple of Elemental Evil I'm very excited for, as it is a... CRPG that actually uses D&D 3.5 edition, which is a rarity. I believe only it and Neverwinter Nights 2, if I'm not mistaken, are the only ones that used 3.5. I believe the original Neverwinter Nights used just third edition. So looking forward to jumping into that title, and that will actually be the last of Troika's three games that they've re actually released before they went out of business. And then I'll have played all of Troika's games, and then I might do something with just that info on its own. And then Empire of Sin is a game that I thought looked really interesting, but honestly didn't have time to play when it launched. And then I heard some not so great things about its launch, and I've just been kind of waiting to dive into it. So naturally, what other way than to review the title and tell everybody whether or not it's terrible or if it was actually good now after some updates. But Empire of Sin is a sort of mobster CRPG, which is definitely unique in that genre. You don't exactly see that particular style in the CRPG space, which kind of makes it interesting by default. So if it is not great, that's going to be really disappointing. But I'm reserving judgment, and we will see what happens. That is every title that I am planning on reviewing in the near future. As I mentioned, there are other games I would like to check out, mostly stuff that doesn't have a release date. And there's even older titles that I still want to get around to checking out. I would like to review Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2 for the channel. There are a couple of indie titles I would like to get around to reviewing as well, such as Sands of Salzar, 
Empire of Ember. And while maybe not a review, I'd like to give everybody an update on that weird indie title Death Trash at some point as well. But that's all a good ways out. After I get all of those reviews knocked out, my schedule will be a little easier on me, which means I'll be looking forward to other projects, which is usually when I review older titles as well. So I'll have to be looking into other CRPGs, etc. to review in that time frame. But mostly when things start calming down a little bit in terms of the reviews that I need to get done, I plan on looking forward to the Wrath of the Righteous story supercut that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. Kind of been taking my time getting around to that one. I plan on getting it done this summer at the latest, but honestly, as I've covered that game to death, I haven't really been in too much of a hurry to actually get the supercut done. But it is on my list of things to do. And that, guys, is pretty much what the next couple months of the channel is going to look like. Sorry if it was a little rambly, but mostly just wanted to give everybody an update, kind of let everybody know where my head is and what I plan on working on over the next few months. And as always, if you have any suggestions about titles you'd like to see me review, definitely leave them down in the comments section down below. I absolutely keep a running list of titles I would like to check out, so let me know and I will look into them. But with all of that said, guys, truly, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to the content coming up. If you are, let me know, like, comment, subscribe if this happens to be your first video of mine you're watching. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.